Lesson number five, how to play a green F chord. For lesson preparation, place your uke on the table in front of you or on your lap if there's no table available. Do not play until you're asked to. Supplies needed. Each student needs one colored pencil, crayon or a marker, not black, for the end of this lesson. The teacher should have a class set of activity page, F chord and review, ready to hand out at the end of this lesson. So the objective is to put your fingers on the uke to make a green F chord. To make the chord sound nice with clear tones. To alternate between the red C chord and the green F chord. And to be tested on your knowledge of frets, bars, and chords. So first we're going to show you how to make a green F chord. Your first finger is going to go to the sticker that shares both blue and green. Right there. Your second finger is going to go to the green sticker. Right there. So let's take a look at this. On the right is your traditional fret bar or a chord chart. Finger number one is on the first fret, second string, and remember, it goes on the green and blue sticker. Your second finger is on the second fret, fourth string, and it's going to go on the green sticker right there. Your third finger is not used in this chord, so it's just going to hover above the strings just a teeny bit so it's ready for future chords. So let's take a look how you use your fingers. Strings are going to go across about this point on your fingertips. Your first finger is going to come underneath your second finger. You see how it comes on that angle and tucks underneath? Your second finger goes all the way up top on that green dot. You want to make sure it's got a good arch into it so it only touches that top string. You don't want it laying down like this picture because then it's touching two strings and that changes the whole sound of the chord. So make sure you keep it up on that nice angle. It's practice time, but don't pick up your uke just yet. Listen to the instructions first. You're going to slowly strum down each string one at a time to ensure that each string is sounding nicely, like this. If one of the strings does not sound nice, you have one of two problems. If your finger is pressing on that string, you're not using enough pressure. Remember, you've got to use that thumb in the back to help squeeze those fingers down tight on your strings. If your fingers are lying down, touching strings that they shouldn't touch, it'll sound wrong. To fix it, put more of a curve in your fingers. The goal is to get a clear sound. But it may take several lessons before you get a good sound, so don't worry too much just yet. So it's time to pick up your ukes, but don't play just yet. Listen for instructions on the next slide. You're going to take a look at these pictures and make sure that your fingers are up on those curves. Go ahead and try it. Now hold your ukes quiet for the next two slides. When playing music with the red C and green F chords, you need to alternate your fingers or take turns. So your third finger will be down for your red C chord. Then at the same time that you lift it up, you're going to put down your one and two on the green. Then at the same time that you pick up one and two, three will go down. So they're taking turns. You don't ever have them all three at the same time. Taking turns.
So just watch and listen to this. Follow along with the bouncing ball and see how it goes. Before I play though, I'll give you a strategy. You move your fingers on the gray boxes. So I've been moving my fingers so that when I get to here, I'm already ready for my red C and I can play four red C's. I move my fingers to F during these four gray beats. Don't just sit there and take it as a rest. It's a chance for you to move your fingers so you're ready to play your four Fs. Move your fingers on these beats, then play the four beats. Move your, four fi your fingers to F, and then you're ready. So I'm gonna play it for you now, and I'm gonna sort of talk it through it as well so you can hear what it really sounds like. So remember, follow the bouncing ball and see which chords are played when. Here we go. I'm moving my fingers to F. I'm moving my fingers to C. I'm moving my fingers to F. Now it's time for you to play along. But obviously for your first time, it's gonna be a lot slower. The tempo will be 60 beats per minute. We're gonna play three times, each time getting a bit faster. So remember, move your fingers on the gray chords. Here we go. Now we're going to try to play along a bit faster. This time the tempo is going to be 80 beats per minute. Here we go. Move your fingers to F. Move your fingers to C. your fingers to F. Finally, we're going to play along even faster if you can. The tempo is going to be 100 beats per minute. And as long as you can play one or two of each colored chord, you're good to go. Make sure you got your fingers on a good arch and they're taking turns either finger three or fingers one and two. Here we go. your fingers to F. Move your fingers to C. Move your fingers to F. Now it's time to try a new chord progression or chord pattern. Just listen to this one. Tempo is going to be 80 beats per minute and follow along with the bouncing ball. That's all I have to show because the whole song is the same pattern. So now you got an idea. You're not getting a rest between your C and your F chord. So it's gonna be a challenge. You're gonna play along, but of course we wanna slow it down a lot, so your tempo is gonna be 50 beats per minute. Just do your very best.
Now we're going to play along a bit faster if you can handle it. Tempo will be 60 beats per minute. Here you go. Okay, some of you might want to try this challenge, play along even faster if you can. If the last slide was too fast for you, then of course just take a break here, but let the kids who want the extra challenge to give this one a try. Tempo is 80 beats per minute. Good luck! Now it's time to put down your ukes and listen for the instructions on the next slide. It's time for activity page F chord and review, but do not hand out the page to the students just yet. So let's take a look at this activity page. You're going to use a colored pencil or a crayon or marker, but not black. I'm going to show you a few samples by highlighting them with the green box to show you how to answer the questions properly. So let's take a look at the first one. It says circle the first fret. If you thought this was the first fret, you would circle like this. Of course it's the wrong answer, but now you know what we mean by circling the fret. This one says draw a line down the second string. If you thought that was the second string, that's where you would draw the line, but of course that's the wrong answer. The next two are circling frets and drawing lines down strings. So let's take a look at the end here where it says draw an F chord. You just draw your black circles, that's all you need. And of course this is not an F chord but now you know what kind of a circle you need to draw. You don't have to write what fingers are used. Along the bottom are a lot of circling frets and drawing lines down strings, but the last box says mark the fifth fret with a dot. Now remember you need to do a little tiny dot somewhere down the middle column. If you thought this was the fifth fret, you would put that small dot there. But of course that's not the fifth fret. It's just an example of what the dot would look like. So now it's time to hand out the activity page. The answers are on the next slide. So keep this on this slide until you've all finished your answers. When you are done, turn your page over and try to draw yourself a ukulele and then see if you can put some fancy decorations on it. Good luck. So now it's time to take up the answers on your page. The first box says circle the first fret. If you get the answer correct, you'll give yourself a small check like this. If you make a mistake, you'll put an X. Do not write what the correct answer is because your teacher wants to see where the class is having problems, where mistakes are being made, and that way your teacher can then reteach that concept so that everybody gets it. So here we go. This is the first fret. Give yourself a check or an X. The 
says draw a line down the second string. Give yourself a check or an X. Circle the second fret. Check or X. Draw a line down the fourth string. Check or X. Draw an F chord. Check or X. We'll go to the next row now at the bottom. Circle the third fret. Check or X. Draw a line down the first string. Check or X. Draw a C chord. Draw a line down the third string. Mark the fifth fret with a dot. Okay, I want you to count up how many checks you had. Put the number at the top corner and then Wait for instructions for your teacher on how to hand in your papers.